Huh, how is your relation with this Mortifane and what is he like? Because he won't talk to me. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Stupid dog. Alright, we're back in Arnima. And I think I have a bounty that I need to look at. A bounty proposition. For any man or mer throughout the realm, a bounty is on offer at the behest of Lord Mortifane. Take up your arms to serve the Lord, the local Lord, and your reward will be more than generous. Find the Lord within his manor to take up the contract. Hurry before the chance for riches escapes you. Okay. This doesn't tell me where his manor is. It's gonna try this again. I think we uh, have looked at most of these places here. Summit of the Lord. It's locked, and I don't know if I should try and pick this or not. I don't think I have much of a choice. This is this is gonna be ugly, I can tell. Let's see what happens. Hello, God. Are we allowed in here? See, they don't say anything until it's too late. Hello. Make yourself busy. I'm looking for Lord Mortifane. Is, is this where he resides? Oh, he's a chef. He might have some answers. Hello. Smells good, though. Wait a minute. Why are these notes here covered in blood? This doesn't look good. Hello? All right, so nobody wants to talk to me. I think you probably are the man I need to speak to.
right, so Anima is that way. Suspicious cabinet. Summit of the Lord, all right. I am suspicious. And since I got this skeleton key from the Thieves Guild that was destroyed, I might as well put it to good use. Love you, my dear. I am so sorry. My grief spills out daily, and those under my wing take the worst of it. They do not deserve such a hateful lord as I, but the rage consumes my soul each night. When the dark mother comes to whisper in my ear again, you know I can't do anything against that chef Belize. He's part of her demonic envoy. His death would have untold implications upon this town, and I would not render any more suffering on my people when I remember that night of your disappearance. I had to vomit for eight hours straight. I embraced death by my own hand for the thing that I've done to you, but the Dark Mother stopped every advance for my demise, telling me that I would interfere in her plan. I hope we shall see each other soon, and a kinder Lord takes my place. I have done dreadful things each time I wept. I know I'm an impulsive man. I cannot help it. That pestilent, pestilent mother takes advantage of my volatile phases, and she makes me carry out morbid acts, but I never ordered for your death. That was a trick. I had a lingering rage for that chef ever since. But as I've said, he cannot be harmed. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to take this. Oh, no. A bounty added and... Now I know I'm in trouble. I'm sure the guards will be here in a minute. So that chef I saw is working with somebody, somebody of immense power. Be arrested, Blade. Mara Mall, y'all are all here. What's this? Mother's Muse. Note to self do not take this. Despair, all ye nations. Deny that we are sick, for our blood is like water where once it was thick, and our minds have grown leaden and our bodies gone weak and venom pours from our lips whenever we speak 
despair all ye nations for the time draws apace when the rot of the cynic shall steal our good grace and our sweetest of dreams shall fade to lost hope our pride and our arrogance our noose and our rope despair all ye nations see the years drawing on our great cultures are fading and soon they'll be gone so conceited our scholars they jeer through their teeth with their theories so shallow quite soulless beneath despair all ye nations for the ending is near when the lord of lost heart shall govern us with fear that's the witchman our weakness unfetters as we face this unknown and our faith trails nothing we stand here alone despair all ye nations the corrupter has come and the sad days of this world are nearing their sum for the shining ideals throughout endeavors we sought grow sour as she passes and are coming to naught despair all ye nations there's no hope for us now for we made this monster placed a crown on her brow she fed on our apathy our pain made her swell we gave her dominion and she gives us oblivion huh all right i really huh? want to, i really want to take that but i guess i'm not going to all right what where are we so this must be um the front of the the building all right let's go back huh you know i think i went out that way so what's back here i think this is the way all these doors are starting to look the same So I don't know who this man is. I'm thinking that this oh you are Mortifane. I thought so, and I can't talk to you and I have a bounty. Oh boy. Alright, well we found where Mortifane is. I think we're just gonna leave then. a key and who's got the key all right well the only thing I got out of that is that there's somebody pulling the strings cursing what's going on here starting to look like we might not be able to continue with uh, the mission that uh, Mara asked us to come here to perform. I say we go back to the Temple of the Divines and see if there's any leads there.
jackos. Get to the point. I was hoping you might have something for me. What about you people? Jagged? Head on with it. May the reach show mercy huh? on you. Alright, don't, don't run out. Well, I am going to ask this. Does the curse at Belmore pose a threat to this town? As apparent as the danger may appear, the omens who've made that cursed land their home haven't strayed a feet from their dark domicile. Seems those souls are still trapped in that terrible siege 30 years ago. Even the scholars from Daggerfall were awestruck at the phenomenon, assuring us that these dead are confined upon the packed dirt from whence they fell. And no one has sought to lift the curse. If it was so easy, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. Whatever solution that could alleviate this scourge vanished with the shamans who performed the ritual. So, we'd just find a shaman and we'd get her to tell us about the curse. Talking like a true native, those guards had done exactly that when the siege was lifted. Suffice to say, nothing was achieved except dozens of flayed shamans draping our walls. Mm. Just reminiscing on that sight can make one's stomach churn. Alright, well... Good fortunes. Thanks. Let me talk to, uh, this man that keeps walking back and forth. Excuse me, Reeman. Reeman. So, missionary. Not good enough. Raymond's the name. Though in Cyrodiil they say it as Raymond. Cyrodiil. I studied there. Thought it was my ticket into the good life, only to end up back here. However, in retrospect, I wouldn't have it any other way. As we speak here, a lot of innocent blood is being spilt. And if I want to do something about it, there's no point in staying where it's safest. You must be going out on missions often, then. Until recently, I used to, yes. Quite a bit of fun, too. Never leaving Anima without a shiv hidden in your boot. Hmm. Now you need a bloody armed escort. Alright, well, thank you. We're reaching a dead end here as far as uh, finding out these uh, missions and stuff. Spit it out. Hello? Make yourself busy. Keep safe. Farewell. And Jackos, you got nothing for me. Tell me then, what's the deal with these witchmen? Isn't that the question on everyone's lips? Abandon any hope of reasoning with these savages. Trying to understand them will earn you a dung covered arrow in the gut. The dam wiped out nigh eight tenths of the men I've sent up their way. All fell by either maddening sorcery or toxic weaponry. The other two tenths returned either missing their limbs or part of their sanity. Sanity? You heard right. Like their brains were not clean out their skulls, raving mad, regurgitating the same strange words that those fanatics vomit up from their black lungs. Mm -hmm. Ever wondered how a force this destructive and incoherent could keep their numbers up? It's not because they breed like rabbits, though that's definitely playing a role. It's mainly because our very own defect from all over the kingdom. Why would you join the Witchmen? Ain't that another question on everyone's lips? We'd love to give you a reason, but I've burnt myself out in the past trying to conjure one. Seems this dark prose gets lodged between their ears, messes with their thoughts, makes them violent, bitter and unpredictable. We've made it an unspoken law to exile those affected by this mind poison rather than take them in. Rehabilitation has proven futile, a cold measure, and cold begets cold, with the whole land freezing in its misery. I think that's all we're gonna get here. Alright, let's go talk to some more people and see if we can't find out what we are supposed to do here. Alright, after much prayer, tomorrow, 
Our quest has brought us here. To the Procol Presidium Reach. For what, we don't know. Hopefully soon we'll find out. Hello? Huh. All right, well. Hello? Until next time. Excuse me, Commander. Huh, how is your relation with this Mordafane and what is he like? Because he won't talk to me. If you're keen on following through on that bounty, then your first course of action is to keep your voice low and have your intentions clear. Right. Mortifane has a tendency to conjure agendas and plots where there aren't any, and strangers like yourself make the perfect suspect. I'll try not to appear suspicious. He can be cooperative if you're candid, as we've attempted to be in the past, mostly to our detriment. He leaves us alone largely, as we provide ancillary support for trade and arms, and we leave him alone to engage in his twisted method of politics. I may just pass on this bounty then. You've enough resolve to face Mortifane if you had enough to engage those rampaging orcs. Don't let my horror stories scare you from any potential fortunes. Hmm. Well, how important is this deep crag? It's of principal importance, and not for reasons that are immediately apparent. Rather, the value in deep crag has a more intangible aspect. Precedence. Deep Crag could consist of a shed and a bucket, yet it would still make us irreducibly vilified if we had lost it. And that precedence is what we want to stay clear of. We don't want more daring opportunities to lunge at us when we are weakest. That's a situation that can cascade and destroy everything we've built here. So, it's about image. Our reputation in High Rock is, at present, dismally low. We cannot lose further rapport with our Protonic allies. They will find us more of a burden than an aid, and will seek to sever ties with us swiftly. So if we lose High Rock? What with what's going on in Skyrim, well, we may as well lose the entire Empire. After all, what is an Empire without its subjects? Exactly. Where was, um... Excuse me, there was a, a high elf in here. I wanted to question him. <laughs> Blade. He just, is this him over here? You're just keeping your eye on everything. Naruman. What, I can't talk to you either? We are really almost completely struck out here. Is there anybody else here we can talk to? I could have sworn he had a quest for us when we came here the first time. Anything, Mara Mall. The 
human. Why won't you talk to me? Alright, it looks like we're gonna have to look elsewhere. Alright, a quest has led us back here. It's starting to look like, um, it's too late to do what it is that Mara needed us to do. But there's still something we can do here in the summit of our lord where Mordafane resides. I've got it on authority that this chef has a key that I need. Me has this basement key. Come on. All right, this should unlock this door here. This is it, just a torture chamber. All these poor, all these poor dead souls. Wait, inspect. I saw something about the squalid commune which we were at earlier. where all the the red stuff is <clears throat> yep there's nothing here but this Nothing but this and Mordafane here that won't talk to us. All right, gentlemen. I think we're about done here in High Rock. We're going to look around for a few more things. And then it's time for us to head back to Skyrim. <laughs>